the dark outer reaches of the solar system. We go with the twin Voyager spaceships to view the huge gas giants, Uranus and Neptune. A mission to come, a glimpse of Pluto, and the comets, meteorites and asteroids with a flight to the most famous of them all, Halley's Comet, all in Encyclopedia Galactica. The glacial world of Miranda. A tiny ice chip, the rough diamond of the solar system. Miranda is a moon, a jewel in the crown of Uranus. Uranus, seventh planet from the sun, broods in the dark outer regions, its axis strangely tilted, a giant. Until 1986, virtually nothing was known of Uranus. From Earth, this is all we could see. Then outward from Saturn came Voyager 2, now so distant that bigger terrestrial antennae were needed to keep in touch. With Voyager 1 heading away from the planets, Voyager 2 was alone the five years to Uranus. First impressions were bland. Even filters and time-lapse failed to penetrate the fog. But Voyager did confirm a turbulent atmosphere. The probe also detected a magnetic field. Its presence enabled the rotation of Uranus to be timed, about 17 hours. The rings of Uranus could accommodate Earth. After Jupiter and Saturn, this is the third biggest planet. Another gas ball of hydrogen and helium with a minute rocky core. Pre-Voyager, Uranus had five known moons. Post-Voyager, there were three times as many. This is aerial, canyoned and frosty. Umbriel, iced in methane. Titania, with a canyon to rival Mariner Valley on Mars. Titania is the largest Uranian moon. Outermost is Oberon. But Voyager's photo star was Miranda. An ice ball less than 500 kilometers wide. A miscellany of geological form. Here, a cliff 20 kilometers high. This computer flight was constructed from Voyager's pictures. Miranda's contours are the result of intense geological activity. The cause may have been the tidal effect of Uranus's gravity. The result is a delightful jigsaw. One of Voyager's most important jobs was to study the rings. Less complex than Saturn's, Voyager counted 11. They seem to be made of little dark ice blocks. The rings could be the dust of shattered moons or the debris of an ancient collision, for Uranus may have been tilted 
by the impact of a body the size of Earth. Four years later, Voyager reached Neptune. The craft had been in space 12 years. Its signals took four hours to reach Earth. From Earth, this had been our picture. From Voyager, these were the first fuzzy close-ups. Neptune was almost the twin of Uranus, but much easier to view, a gassy sphere with a small solid core. Like Uranus, the magnetic field was inclined, in Neptune's case, at 47 degrees to the rotational axis. The planet turned once in 16 hours. Compared to Earth, Neptune is a giant, although slightly smaller than Uranus. The white strands are cirrus, high altitude cloud. Neptune's internal heat generates more energy than the planet absorbs. The result is dynamic weather and storms like the wizard's eye. And upward from the eye, the great dark spot. A tempest the size of Earth. Voyager specially time-lapsed the spot. The camera holds it centrally. In reality, the spot hurtles round the planet every 18 hours. It's borne westerly in continuous gales that blow at 2,200 kilometers an hour. Before Voyager, it was thought Neptune had only partial rings, arcs, that should be investigated. In fact, they were clumps on complete rings. Neptune had two main rings and a tenuous inner ring. Its atmosphere was hydrogen, helium and a touch of methane. Methane absorbs red light and causes the blue complexion. A glimpse of the moon Nereid, previously known and Proteus, discovered, along with five others, as Voyager prepared for its last mission to Neptune's biggest moon, Triton. So great were their comparative speeds that Voyager had to fire maneuver jets to align for sharp photography. Triton was odd. It had the coldest known surface, frozen eruptions, a wispy atmosphere of nitrogen, a retrograde orbit, and oddest of all, with its trail emphasized in black, a geyser of nitrogen. Here again in time lapse. Plumes shooting eight kilometers high, then streaming 150 kilometers downwind. Triton probably once orbited the sun, but passing too close to Neptune, it was captured. Out here with the sun 4,500 million kilometers distant, Voyager's work was done. At the edge of the planetary system is the vast orbit of Pluto. Through a telescope on Earth, Pluto is a blur. In space telescope, it divides in two. For Pluto has a moon, Charon, half the size of the planet. 
tiny frontier worlds that for the time being can only be guessed at. Far from the paths of the Voyager probes as they plunge into the galactic depths. Stay with us after the break when we deal out the wild cards of the planetary pack, the comets, asteroids and meteorites. And was it a fireball from space that wiped out the dinosaurs? <laughs> 